Hey guys, we're going to and I'm back with another Bullet Force video, and uh, yeah, this is the video you guys have been waiting on for a while, and honestly, I think this is the perfect time to talk about it, because I'm nearing the end zone, man. I'm about to cross the finish line, and I'm not going to look back uh, very soon. So, let's talk about this game, man. Um, we're going to be talking about... What's wrong with Bull Force? Is it the end? What's going on? <laughs> so basically, I'm gonna split this video into a couple parts, um, spanning this entire gameplay in the background, which hope you guys enjoy. Um, yeah, so I'll put timestamps down in the description if you guys want to see a specific thing that I talk about. Um, but without further ado, let's get into it. Now, before we go ahead and get into these little points I'm going to be talking about, I do want you guys to keep in mind that this game has been out for about a year or two now, um, and even before that, it's been through excessive alpha and beta testing from Lucas himself, um, by himself, like, for the most part in the beginning, and then as soon as me and, like, iChase hopped in, that's when it really started to get things going. Um, and so, if you guys didn't know, me and Sheriff... I'm sure you guys know who that is. Uh, me and him have done quite a lot on this game. Uh, and I'm surprised a lot of people still don't know. I, I keep repeating this a lot, I know. But um, I just keep I keep thinking that I need to mention it. So if you guys go to the menu and you guys look at the icons for the perks, the icons for the kill streaks, the HUD icons, like all that you see and probably even more has been done by Sheriff. Sheriff made those. He made those. Now, in terms of the perk system, in terms of the killstreak system, some of the camos as well as, like in terms of the camos, like ideas for the camos and names, um, as well as a few other things was from me. I worked very well with Lucas on that. Um, I created spreadsheets on spreadsheets on spreadsheets. That paper is everywhere. It's probably somewhere in my drawer. I have documents on my computer just, just, just building this game, helping him out. So just keep that in mind. Um, so all these things that I came up with are very old. Um, in retrospect, it's very old kind of concepts. And that's why this video is kind of coming up because th things have just not been changing. Um, more so also me kind of putting myself out there to the team be like, hey, I really want to help you guys out. I don't think the right things are being pushed out right now. Please come see me. I really think I can help with the perks and because like really refine this game to be a, just completely revamped, you know. But no such luck. They have not answered me. They have no, I guess, need or want to do that. So, anyways, let's just get into this video. Menus, yes, menus, menus, menus. So this game's been out for a while, and the menus. I'm gonna say, guys, I'm not gonna hold anything back. They're pretty atrocious. All right, at the time, it was okay. But now, it's just, it's very bad. So, um, you guys aren't going to see it on screen, but just the menus aren't very good. <laughs> I'm just going to point that out there. Um, the switching between menus is fine. Like, you go to the armory or you go to multiplayer. Like, that's fine. But when you go to armory, man, that's the part. So, when you're switching through weapons, assault rifles, SMGs, shotguns, um, snipers, all that stuff, your primaries, are all in one little... <laughs> like horizontal slot you cannot look at them via categories you have to manually press and press on the side until you get to the one you want that is not very good the other thing the damage accuracy hit fire stability range all those stats for the weapons are not very good either because if you want to look at let's see the badger versus the ak-47 or something they're so far away apart from each other when you scroll that you just you can't look at the numbers you'd have to physically take a picture of each weapon go to your photos and scroll like through that and see which one's better or which one's worse or why and even so you don't get it very well um, I actually recommended that they use like boxes like for damage if it's like a three box you know that, like there's like a scale of ten or something and they, if it has a three box there you go AK has like four boxes so you know it's stronger anywho that's not very good um when you hit customize, same thing with the camos. It's a horizontal thing. You can't choose them in some sort of organized way. You literally have to, you can't even scroll. You actually have to tap to each one, which is not good. The barrel attachments in sight, 
I mean, there are so few of those that it doesn't necessarily matter. But regardless, there's my point. Um, the kill streaks are fine. I mean, those are yeah organized, but the system's kind of wonky too, in a way. Um, the perks, um, the perks are okay. It's a scrollable manner, but I feel like it can do some work. Um, and we'll talk about the perk system in just a little bit. Um, in general, though, just I don't think it's very user friendly. Um, from my personal opinion, it's just an absolute mess. Uh, but anyways, let's continue. So the perk and kill streak system. These are the systems that I've created myself. And yeah, I'll say that they're okay in the beginning. Like I, everyone seemed to like them. Um, from as far as my knowledge, um, I I like them, but it's kind of just not working right now. It's kind of frustrating. So uh, there are little things that just that just don't work anymore. So the perk system that I created um, was to have perks that had points, and each perk would have a point. You'd have like a one point or two point or three point. And you would have a total of, I believe, 10 slots. And then you'd be able to allocate those to whichever one you want. You can change that to whatever class. You had choice to give, to have like a five point perk, which is really good. And a couple more perks. Um, or you can have like little perks to kind of fill that up. But I noticed it didn't work so well because some perks are, I, me personally, the only perks I use are Swift Hands, Optimize, Super Strafe, Trigger Finger, and Extended. And sometimes Rapid Draw. That's it because the system didn't allow for me to really choose other ones that I wanted because the ones I was using were basically crutch for me like I had to have them to do well in a game and that that isn't good it's it's a little flawed and so what I recommended at the time like a couple months ago was hey instead of 10 slots let's make it like 12 14 something like that to, so people can use more perks um, they didn't want to do that um, so then I was like, okay, how about, you know, contact me, we'll try, you know, or, or I'll just, why don't you guys kind of reallocate the slots, the points, so that people would use other ones, um, without diminishing the others as well that they used before. They didn't seem to care about that because nothing's happened. Um, but anyways, there's that. The killstreaks, on the other hand, the killstreaks, I seem, they seem okay, um, as far as just kind of simple, uh, killstreaks. It was actually kind of hard for me to think of some that that were in that were in Lucas's head that he thought he can do like to do like and the ability to control an airplane in the air like you call it in and you're in the airplane shooting Lucas at the time didn't think he can do that that's why those were out of the table so anything out of his mind reach it was not possible so these were kind of the ones that that could work um so these seem okay but the problem is the problem is you cannot use multiple streaks at once why? I've said this for so many months. Why? If I get UAV, counter UAV, and haste, and I have them all there, I haven't activated them yet, and I press UAV, I can't use the other two streaks I earn. Why? You should be able to. I've said that for so long, and it just has not happened. Why, 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 why? Why? Anyways. So, you know, I would like to help him out, kind of revamp all this stuff. But to no avail, nothing's happened. Maps, 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 maps. Okay, so let's just get the cat out of the hat right here. Uh, Aftermath is the worst map in this game. <laughs> Hands down. What? What? Why? Like, no offense to whoever created it, but it's just, it's not a very good map. It's literally a... It's a very heavy spawn trap. Yes, the other maps are spawn traps as well, but this is super heavy. There are ways to avoid this, to rework the spawn system, to create spawns that have multiple ways to get in and out of, so you're not kind of stuck there and spawning in one kind of spot. Um, and with Aftermath, they have the sides. Yes, they have the sides. It's kind of like a three-lane map. Well, kind of like a three-lane map in a way. But when you go on the sides, it takes so freaking long to get around, and the sides aren't very well made. One of them is just kind of like a straight kind of tunnel with boxes, which you can go straight behind the enemy spawn. Or you can go to the other one, which is a huge freaking wasteland, which takes forever that honestly, when I play Aftermath, no one goes there. 
no one kind of because it's, it's just a waste of space honestly now the middle you have a crane people head glitch the hell out of that crane or whatever that is that machine um, the crates are used as cover that's fine but then there are times and I cannot stress this enough just freaking snipers camping in the back as soon as you enter the little area the main area in the middle people just sit there and snipe it's a sniper fest sniper fest camper not good now, but that's not the worst part, guys. The worst part about this map is that whenever you press TDM or any mode, you know what you get? Aftermath. You literally get no other map. It's it's a miracle if you get another map. It's always Aftermath. And that's mostly probably because it's a new map and people just want to play it. Or it's such a spawn trap that people just freaking are just abusing that map. And it's like, yeah, 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 you know. Honestly, not a very good map. <laughs> Just gonna say that um, there are also maps that have not been patched um, in terms of their exploits aftermath did get a fix because there were people camping on top of that little area sniping which was so damn annoying uh, but there are other maps that have exploits that are not yet fixed um, and there are also some paths that need to be you know crossed or added or something to the maps basically just need to be refined in, in all due respect uh, prison. I haven't played that map. in so long and I love that map Why <laughs> I just it's just not showing up um, And that's the thing also so um, I Guess we'll, we'll get into this in the same topic with the content in this game Let me put it this way. I went to the app. I went to version history the past seven months seven months guys the past seven months have consisted of two maps and one, two, three, four, five, six new guns, and then basically essentially bug fixes and weapon balances. Um, not too many weapon balances, but some, and then bug fixes. So in seven months, you're telling me that two new maps are available? Like, no, 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 no. That's not good. Two maps, and then, what, what did I say, six guns? Yeah. So the Canyon Aftermath were the two new maps. L85, ASVAL, Tech 9, Op, Badger, and the Minibot are the weapons. Like, that doesn't seem very good. Like, I feel like more maps should have been put out. Um, the weapons could have waited a little bit because um, the the old ones still had to be balanced. Anyways, there's that. Now, in terms of weapons, I don't want to go into it uh, because there there's a lot of weapons in this game. And the fact that I need to go through each one to kind of really nitpick which are balanced which are unbalanced let's just say that there are some that are balanced there are some that are not and there's just i don't know not a very good mixture right now i don't i at least in my opinion this is all my opinion guys but i don't think it's a very good mixture right now um and i, I just i feel things could be a little bit better on that aspect now Gold, again, I'm not going to touch the gold um, or the early access, all that stuff, because I personally, me, I've got gold and stuff as being a mod, so that really hasn't bothered me. For those who aren't a mod in this game and get it, you know, by buying gold or watching ads or stuff, I don't know how that is on their side, which it kind of makes me ignorant on that subject, so I'm not going to talk about that, but that may or may not be an issue. I'm going to leave it up to you guys. In terms of the game modes, the game modes. So, there are a few game modes. There are Team Deathmatch, Free For All, Conquest, Gun Game, Hardcore TDM, Hardcore FFA, and VIP. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Me, I only play TDM, Free For All, and Gun Game. Every other mode is just boring and does not, just does not work for me. Conquest... I never liked in the beginning. I didn't think it was very well made. Um, I would have preferred a domination type thing where there was three flags and you know you had to fight for that instead of like the five flags spawning on them and stuff. I don't like that. Uh, I also don't see many people play it. VIP, same thing. I don't see many people play it and it's not too much fun. The hardcore modes, I honestly have not touched. I'm just not a hardcore man so that could be something completely different. I just don't play that. Um, but yeah, so basically three modes. Um, and I wish there were more kind of official modes. I mean, you can kind of make your own modes when you create a match and you can put only sniper and then just kind of ban all the other guns except the snipers. You can do that, but it would be nice to see kind of official modes kind of bring brought out every once in a while because that's that's kind of what's going on with the games nowadays, the trends. 
um, especially these big multiplayer games, is, is strictly they, they put limited time modes out there because it really in, incents you to play that, give it a try, and then the team from the game like gets to see that, look at the numbers, and be like, okay, so people really like the way that you only can use this weapon, or they really like that mode, or, or any stuff like that, and they can work with that. So, just putting that out there. Now, aside from everything that I just said, in general, this game uh, has still some issues sometimes with connection-wise, where you're hitting someone too much, or, or just something goes on where the gunfight just doesn't feel right. Um, so that could atone to the servers, to, to, to someone's ping, or something along those lines. Those are always tricky, you can never get those like perfect. Um, so there's that, there's still bug fixes going around, uh, or sorry, bugs that are going around, and fixes that still need to be brought up. So that still needs to be, still needs to be going. Um, and basically guys, this game has run its course. Uh, there are games like Fortnite now, like a console game on mobile now. Uh, Modern Combat also has run its course. Like, there are just bigger games, bigger companies that are coming out to mobile that are going to step on the plate, and they're showing, you know, they're showing up these guys. And it's leaving all these other games in the dust. And I know people still play these games, like, it's fun and all. But at the end of the day, like, other games are going to be taking over. Like, PUBG I see is getting really big. Fortnite is Fortnite. <laughs> COD Mobile is coming out soon. You know, just... It's kind of hard to kind of put yourself, to kind of invest yourself in so many games at once, you know? That's why I personally am cutting down on games that I'm not really enjoying anymore. Uh, and kind of focusing on games that I really enjoy, um, as well as what you guys like to see. But um, it also has to do with the fact that the devs, for instance, they're just, I don't think that they seem to be putting that much of an effort in this game, in the updates and what their kind of vision is for this game. I know that they tweeted out like a couple days ago about like what games do you feel need balance and you literally it was a poll where you can choose any gun you want. You tap it and then when you press next it says what do you think should be buffed or nerfed like damage, range, all that stuff like that's great and all. But the thing is the content, the game itself is just it's getting old. Things need to be updated like if you guys looked, and here's a perfect example, Counter Strike Global Offensive. That great game years ago was made it's still going strong because well the game is really freaking fun let's just say that um but the other thing is that i mean they did have that camel that kind of gambling aspect to it which is cool and all but they also had that aspect um where when did they do it was it a month ago a few months ago i can't remember but they 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 release updates always and they always they're not afraid to change things up and Recently, they updated the game completely. They revamped it. Like, they revamped the menus, the, the, there's different modes, like, all this. They completely revamped it, and it looks like a new game. Like, people love it again. Like, it's... They even added a, a Battle Royale mode, for, for God's sake, uh, which I haven't tried personally. But anyways, like, that's what I'm talking about. They, they even update every once in a while, like, the character models. Like, it's crazy. Like, if Bullet Force did that, if they updated the character models, if they somehow upped the graphics, if they... If they uh you know fix the menus if they change the content they weren't shy about it they, they they added more maps they put more resources on maps and fixing bugs and stuff and and um and just all the stuff i listed here if they did that this game would still be thriving and i'd be way more invested into it but guys as we're getting near this end of the uh we're nearing the end of this video god i've been talking for so much today um I am getting close to getting all the clips I need for my last montage. It's been absolutely a blast. If you guys watched my first ever montage, Genesis, and you watch what the game is now, it's crazy how much it's jumped. Um, but as soon as I get enough clips for this montage, it's I think that's I think that's gonna be it, man. Unless I'm convinced otherwise, I think that's gonna be it for me personally for this game. Um, I mean, it's, I'm going to finish the, the montage, and either that or the video after that is going to be my farewell to this game. It's been a good run. Uh, I've had fun working on it, working with Lucas, uh, working at the team at the time. Uh, it was great fun, but uh, that's really what I have to say about this game, guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Um, do you guys agree with some of the things? Do you guys disagree? Let me know. Um, I'd love to have a discussion with you guys on this video. This is a really kind of 
me to you talk. Um, so I really want to see what you guys think. And uh, yeah, I will uh, catch you guys in the next one.